So, this is goodbye. And this does not mean like, I don't know, like it's like the end of the YouTube channel, the end of my art career or anything that I might be pursuing. This is the end of me. And what I mean by that is I have significantly gotten to a point to where I'm ready for more. Ready for more in my life, ready to attract the things I truly, truly desire. But see, the thing, the thing is, is I don't think I've been putting enough, enough time into me. I feel like I've, I've put a, a great deal of time into me, but I got to recognize there's a lot more that goes into that. Um, I want to be a brand new person, truth be told. And I think a lot of people kind of get to this point where they feel like change is necessary. And I'm just grateful to God that it wasn't anything drastic that made me want to do this change. I just woke up this morning, June 8th, 2023. And I got tired of the same. Waking up at the same time, doing the same old things, pushing things off the same way that I typically do. I'm, I'm tired of me. I'm tired of me. And... For me to really be happy, I feel like there has to be a drastic change in my identity. I've chosen to manifest an image of who I perceive myself to be. I don't consider myself like anybody else. I do think that I'm very rare, and that's not even to be big-headed or conceited. I do truly think I stand out from a lot of different people because of just how different I am from them. For one, even the way I speak, my vernacular, my choice of vernacular, and the habits that I partake of are drastically different from people around my age, or maybe from my cultural background, even friends and family. You know, I just think it's time. I just, I truly think it's time. Like, there's a lot, there's a lot of me that I feel like I'm, I'm not really seeing. There's a lot that goes into who I am as a person that I feel like hasn't really been tapped into. And I really resonate with the idea of a dragon being very rare, a mystical being, powerful, has a significant amount of prowess and potential, is able to just rule over nations upon nations the way that it does and go about his business the way that it does, you know? I really resonate, I, th I feel like at it got to a point where before maybe my favorite animal might be like a dog or like a monkey or something like that but though no, i really i like the idea of a dragon i like the idea of a, it's different it's unique it's beautiful and anytime i see it captured it's never captured in media captured in imagery i've never really seen an, an ugly dragon <laughs> never really seen an ugly dragon it's all it always looks cool to me i think i resonate with that creature a lot i think that's gonna really motivate me with this change to just keep pushing to be something that something that you've never seen before and not even for you guys for me too i don't i don't want to recognize myself for however long this process takes which is not this is why i'm not going to be like oh this is going to be like a 30-day thing a, a three-month thing i don't know how long this process will take but i firmly believe that when it's over i'll know and it's going to take a great deal of sacrifice, a great deal of discipline. And I, I'm, I'm letting you guys know this now so you guys don't be confused in case. In case I do become inconsistent with a couple of things, whether it's art, whether it's YouTube videos, change for me is necessary. And I know for a fact, because I know how my family is, they're going to be concerned they're going to be like, oh my God, where's Sean? We're not hearing from him, blah, 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 blah. And I appreciate the concern, but even if they're watching this video, just know that it's going to be a while, but I'll be okay. It's going to be a while, but I'll definitely be okay. Like I said, I don't, I don't really, it's not that I don't love myself, but I love myself enough to change. I feel like I love, I love myself enough to evolve and to become something greater than who I am today. I think that's the best way to put it. So it's going to take a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of sacrifice, but trust and believe and listen to me when I say this. Tulsa will never die. The channel will never die. 
a little small community, though it's small right now, I see it reaching the greatest of great heights. Because just seeing some of the comments that you guys leave and, and things like that, the engagement and whatnot, that means more to me than thousands of people watching my videos and not saying shit or just not being honest, you know? I really do love you guys and I'll see you guys, I'll see you guys when I see you. Now, again, to clarify, that doesn't mean like you won't see a video, another video from me like this week or next week or next month. You'll still see them. But in regards to me being more, I guess, attentive, more present, that might be, that might be more absent, if anything. So I'll see you guys later, man. Next time you really, like, really see me on a more personal, personal, personal level, you won't recognize me. I won't recognize me. And that's going to be a good thing.